Hello, and welcome back to New Cats on the Block, and I'm not angry, you're angry. You're so angry and sour about the Buckeye game, and you know what, I'll be honest, I am too. It was a tough one, a real tough one, but they are ranked number one in the nation, so we kind of have to just accept it for what it is. Uh, but look to today, and today is not going to be easy either, as we have an undefeated Minnesota Golden Gopher team uh, who's ranked 24. They've crept their way up to 24. Uh, I guess the, the, the polls are pretty down on them uh, so far this season. But, uh, yeah, undefeated Minnesota Golden Gopher team, another ranked Big Ten opponent. Uh, our schedule just continues to get a little bit tougher as uh, conference play is uh, holding nothing back. So... Uh, the Minnesota Golden Gophers at this time uh, are in uh, pretty much the middle of their tenure with uh, Glenn Mason, uh, who took over in the late 90s. Um, and in this season, they would actually, uh, it would be their best season with him. They would go 10-3. and three. So uh, this is a, a pretty solid Minnesota Golden Gopher team um, that we cannot take lightly. So we're going to have to uh, play, I guess, as strong as we did with the Buckeyes, but, uh, you know, not have a million mistakes <laughs> as we find our tight end on the first play of the game for a first down. But he is injured, so that's a, a, a tough-looking injury there. Hopefully uh, things aren't too bad, but uh, we got the depth at the receiver position, so I'm not worried. First and 10 now for the Wildcats, and Minnesota has that, one, has that run play covered pretty well as we get tripped up in the backfield, and we're not going anywhere. So, uh, and there you see our tight end is injured for the game. So he is out. Made a nice first down play for us, but uh, he's gone now. So, but we don't need him as we find number nine deep for a huge chunk play here early on on this goal for defense. And yeah, I want this offense to be cleaner, man. I just minimize the mistakes. We had four picks last game, and uh, that is just, we can't play like that in a conference. We just can't. We have to look so much stronger if we want to reach a bowl game here. Every game counts. You know, we're already up to three losses, so we got to play a little bit stronger here as we're moving the ball pretty well early on here against the Gophers as we find number 80, uh, who, who's going across the middle, makes a nice reception there, gets brought down by a few Gophers. And second in inches, can we get what we need? As we do, we burg in some tackles, carrying them with us. Get off of me. We get brought down inside the five-yard line, and uh, we got uh, a nice uh, fresh set of downs and a first and goal to boot. So uh, we hand it off to the fullback here, try and pick up what we need. Can't seem to get it there. The golfers know what we're trying to do. They know the game plan. They don't want us anywhere near that end zone. But we got to reach it. We got to. The second goal is we're going to roll out, and we find our man, number two, who gets brought down. Kind of scary there. If I was the golfers, I would throw the red challenge flag. But in this era, we don't got no red challenge flags. So, uh, and we also don't have any booth reviews every touchdown. So... We're just going to take that one. Maybe he reached over the plane there on the tackle animation. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, it doesn't matter because we, uh, we got a fresh six on the board. So uh, hopefully we can make it seven here as we punch it through. Another terrible kick. Uh, and uh, we, 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 we can't convert. <laughs> so our, uh, our lead stays at six as our kicking woes continue. And you guys don't know the full extent because I, 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 I edit out most of the kickoffs. And I just, uh, for some reason, I just I cannot figure out kicking. I'm just so bad at it. I'm hoping if I uh, eventually recruit like a 99 overall kicker, it'll just make all my problems disappear. And I can kick balls as poorly as I want to, and it'll never be a problem for me. As Minnesota now uh, has their first chance with the ball here, and they find number 84 who's running backwards, but he does have the ball. He does make the catch. So it's a third and ten situation already for the golfers. Can they convert? They don't want to go three and out. This quarterback's going to drop back now. He's got a nice little pocket here, and he flips it out to the tight end who's got the uh, the size and the height, and he makes that catch over our defenders, and he has a first down. So, first set of downs for Minnesota's. They're going to go to the ground game, and the running back makes a nice uh, little shimmy, breaks off a tackle, but ultimately gets brought down. Second and short situation now for the Gophers' offense. Just a minute and a half left in the first quarter. Quarterback's going to drop back, and the pressure's on, and he gets gobbled up. <laughs> he tried to run away from the man in front of him and just ended up running into the man to the right of him. Good coverage by our D-line there as Minnesota's facing a third and very, very long. Taking his time, thinking about this play here. Doesn't want to, it doesn't want to hit the ground yet again. He's going to drop back. He's got more time now, and he throws a dangerous ball. A dangerous, dangerous, well-covered ball. We could have come down with the interception, but uh, it's fine. I'll take the big defensive stops. As uh, we get the ball back, but we're already facing a third and ten. Things have not gone our way on this drive. And we find our fullback out of the backfield who makes the catch and falls forward, but he doesn't have enough. He's, he's about a, 
about a yard or so short. So we're going to send this one back to Minnesota as uh, they have about one second left in the first quarter to make a play here. And they get it. They give it to the, uh, the back here, keeps it on the ground, has a little bit of room, and gets brought down. And that'll bring the first quarter to a close uh, as we hold on to our 6 nothing lead here over the undefeated uh, Golden Gophers. Coming back now out of the uh, out of the brief intermission now to open up the second quarter. It's second and eight for the Gophers. They're going to head back to the ground game and this time give it to the fullback who uh, bumbles and stumbles forward. And he looks to have just about enough for the first down. As Minnesota will continue their drive, they continue the momentum. They hand it to the running back again, who's got room. He's on the outside, but we uh, we force him out of bounds here. Strong safety makes the uh, makes the potential uh, touchdown saving play there, but Minnesota is moving, so we got to tighten up on defense here. Ben, don't don't break as they go back to the ground game, and we got that one covered. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Tighten up here. We don't give up uh, too much to the ground game in our, in our in our games, which I'm pretty happy about, but uh, that could all change here with the Golden Gophers. We don't know what they're capable of. So second and eight now, they're going to go back to the ground game, and he's got room up the middle, and he uh, tries to follow the holes there, and he falls forward. So it's third and short for the Gophers. Can they convert? They give it to the fullback, and we come up with a huge stop and bring him down short of the marker. Our defensive line has been playing nuts these last couple of games. Couldn't be more proud of them. So Minnesota's going to send out their field goal kicking unit, and of course their kicker is obviously more accurate than ours is, and so he's going to punch that one through and cut our lead to just three. So it's three to six now over the Gophers, and we've got a chance here to answer as we throw a dangerous pass here to our backup tight end. That one's nearly intercepted. So we're going to come out second and ten here. we got a beautiful pocket in front of us all the time in the world, and another dangerous pass. That one bounces off our receiver's hands and finds another receiver. I think that one bounced off uh, number two or number nine's hands and floated right into number 80's hands, uh, who advanced the ball forward. So we're facing another third down situation here right at midfield. Can we convert and keep the drive alive? We throw a deep ball here to number nine, who's all alone on an island, makes a beautiful catch, and we've got another fresh set of downs. So the pass game seems to be rolling pretty well here. Already got over 100 yards here in this game. We're going to head to the ground game here to try and break the monotony. We get a few yards there. Kind of sprinkle those runs in. He's not good for a lot, but uh, those those extra yards he can get us uh, is very helpful. So, <laughs> second and short situation here, and we uh, find our backup tight end who makes the play, makes the play, makes uh, the catch there, and gets uh, spun out, brought down. Got another first down here, first and goal. We're gonna head to the running back on the outside, and he's got the room, he's got the edge, and he busts up for the touchdown. He says, "Get off of me!" So we're gonna try and go for two here to make up for the points that we lost. We're gonna go for the rollout. Had to make that pass on the run, and it was there. He was open in the back of the end zone, but uh, inaccurate, thrown off the foot, obviously. So uh, we we miss out on another extra point. So uh, the lead now is uh, firm at nine as we hold a 12-3 lead over the Gophers. And uh, a dangerous play there. Beautiful play, beautiful play by our cornerback to break that one up here. Gophers got second and ten now. They're going to float the one out to the other side, and they find the tight end, number 82, on the right side of the field, who makes a nice toe-drag catch. And the Gophers are going to have another first down with uh, just under two minutes here to operate. And uh, our game seemed to get crazy <laughs> when, when the, the first half, and the time in the first half seems to uh, get pretty low. So what are the Gophers capable of? As that ball is almost picked off again by our cornerback, number 28. He's, uh, he's he's reading number eight's mind here, the quarterback. He's reading his mind. He's going to drop back. He's got a nice pocket. And an amazing one-handed grab by the uh, receiver, the number 83. Uh, that one-handed grab uh, allows him to cut up field for that first down. So the Gophers' drive is going to continue as the clock continues to run. So they're going to head to the ground game here, and there is nowhere to go. We are watching for their ground game now. We know that running back can run. We know he is capable, and we do not want to give up anymore. So... Minnesota's going to have to conserve some time here as they're, uh, they got a long way to go. And a deep ball is thrown, and it is thrown right into the hands of our free safety. A beautiful spin move, throw him out of his shoes to extend this. And we got no one in front of us. Can we break off the running back? We can. And now there's no one. We are all alone. Can we go the whole distance? And we can. Pick six. A huge pick six. Wow, what a return. We get a huge spin. We're going to go for two again, try and make up some points, and that time we get it. So uh, we get an extra two points here instead of uh, missing another extra point and extend our lead to 20-3 off of a massive, 
massive pick six. Man, our free safety was flying. All he had to do was shake off that, shake off the running back, man. And he did just that. The tight end did not have the speed to catch up. So uh, we uh, we bust this lead wide open. I mean, we just, whew. Now the Gophers uh, have a have a tough way to go. They got a, quite the hill to climb now. They got quite the pit to dig themselves out of as they find themselves down by 17 with a minute left in the first half to uh, the lowly 2-3 and three, uh, Northwestern Wildcats. Uh, but they're going to start early there as they flip that one out to number 84, who uh, another toe drag. And, you know, it's only one foot down. Obviously, we can't review this, but I, I was pretty certain that that other foot was out of bounds. But it's whatever. We'll give it to them as Minnesota's going to continue their drive, and they're going to continue it going backwards. As their quarterback's going to eat some more dirt, we, we find our way to him yet again. With under a minute now, the Gophers got to move fast. they got a long way to travel. Second and 15. They come out in the I formation. Gophers going to drop back and try to go for a rollout, and he's escaping the pressure there. It was inches away from another sack, and that one has sailed out of bounds. So, quarterback's looking a little shaky here, looking a little desperate. Third and 15 now for the Gophers. No one in the backfield. The quarterback's going to drop back, take a few steps back, and he floats out onto the right side, or excuse me, to the left side, and he finds 84 again. And he's got the size, man. He doesn't look like the fastest guy, but I mean, he's huge. And, uh, you know, all, all number 28, our cornerback can really hope to do is just cut off those passes, which he was doing pretty good at doing all day, but uh, that time he uh, he gets mossed <laughs> by uh, the, the big receiver. Minnesota's going to run the hurry up here. They, uh, they don't have a lot of time to operate, and they float it out to number 83, who's wide open in the corner of the end zone, and he makes a beautiful catch and adds another six points here to uh, Minnesota's total to bring them up to nine here, cutting the lead to, to just uh, nine to 20. So they got a long way to go, but uh, that's, a, that's a huge help there as Minnesota runs a very quick and efficient drive here in the end of the first half to add some points. And like I said, man, well, as the time just seems to expire in the first half in this game, man, things just seem to get a little crazy as Minnesota manages to cut our lead in half now by 10. And uh, hopefully we can uh, we can do something here, I guess, with uh, about 30 seconds as uh, we uh, get a fancy little uh, return there, stumbling around. Um, 30 seconds to operate is more than enough, I feel, <laughs> with the way things have gone, so... In shotgun formation, first and ten, what can we do now? Can we move the ball forward? And uh, we had our man open there, but uh, he couldn't come down with it. There was uh, quite a bit of congestion in the middle of the field. So, second and ten now for the Wildcats. What can we do? And the pressure comes on our quarterback. Uh, nearly gets to him, but we just flip the ball out. So, we're going to call a timeout, try to conserve some time, but it is third and short. What can we do? Are we going to run out? As we float this one out to number nine, who's got a huge catch. We are right at about midfield here, but the clock is the clock's ticking yet again. we got to burn another timeout. Just 17 seconds to go about half the length of the field. What can we do? First and 10 now. Quarterback's going to drop back. He's got a, a, a lot of coverage there up front, and we find number 80, who gets brought down. So now with just 10 seconds left, we have moved the ball. We have managed to, to move the ball pretty much the whole length of the field. We're going to send out our kicker now. Can we, can we, get, can we get it? Can we get it? Will we get a good kick? It comes off the leg good, and it goes right down. We did it. <laughs> we kicked a field goal. Our kicker was able to convert on a field goal. And look up in the second deck. We got some fans up there. They're believing in the dream. They see what we can achieve. With five seconds left now for Minnesota, what can they do? Is the pressure gets to the quarterback, but he gets rid of it, and he finds his man deep. Finds him inside the 20. But there's no time left, so so that's going to take us out of the first half. But he found him. <laughs> Look at this. He takes uh, to the very last second. He had men in his face, but he finds his man, number 84, and he gets brought down at about the uh, the 18 or 19-yard line. But uh, there is no time left, so all that extra yardage there, that padding, that stat padding, it's going to result in nothing for Minnesota as we walk into the locker rooms with a 13-point lead of the no number 24 ranked undefeated Minnesota Golden Gophers. Now this is what should have been happening last week with how bad the Buckeyes played, but it's whatever, okay? As long as we knock down a, a ranked Big Ten opponent, uh, I'll be satisfied. But uh, I'm not going to talk like that yet, okay? There's still a lot of game left. we got half the game left, and Minnesota's still moving the ball pretty well. You saw what they did in the very last play of the half. And right here, man, the running back running, bumbling, stumbling. 
and he gets uh, more than enough of that first down as our strong safety, who's had a, a couple picks in the last couple weeks, uh, um, is injured now. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. A lot of injuries been going on the last few weeks. As we're going to go to the ground game again, and the running back uh, breaks a couple tackles and makes a nice little return there. So it's second and short now for the Gophers. And the pressure gets there. We almost bite on the play fake. We almost got to the quarterback, but he got rid of it. To, found 84 again. And believe it or not, he had the speed to uh, evade our defenders. And he gets a very, very nice uh, chunky yardage there off the, uh, off the reception. Uh, more than enough. And that'll give Minnesota another touchdown right out of the half. See, that's what I'm saying. Can't talk about uh, they're dead to rights, man. Minnesota's offense is rolling. Unlike uh, Ohio State's, man. Minnesota's got, uh, they got the down here, and they showed up to play at Evanston, Illinois. So, hopefully, uh, this Wildcat offense can continue to roll, um, as we have so far this game. I'm very proud of what we've done so far, as we get a beautiful return, brought up to the 35. Number two can do it all. <laughs> he's, uh, he's the return man you want, he's the receiver you want, jumping off the line, so... It looks like our strong safety will return, which is a bruised knee, so that is good to hear. As we float it to our backup tight end, good remember our, uh, our starter tight end is, is injured for the game, and it uh, doesn't seem to matter, because like I said, man, we got horses in the stable. When it comes to receiving, we got horses in the stable. And uh, he's been pretty efficient so far this game for us, so uh, that's pretty good to see. So we headed to the ground game, and it looks like I might have missed the hole there. I think maybe if we just followed going uh, north... Uh, just straight north probably would have worked out a little bit better for us. I think I tried to get to the outside. I, I, I saw there's some room, but uh, moving backwards. So second and long situation now for the Wildcats, but we find number two who gets brought forward and another first down. So things are going well for the Wildcat offense. We're moving pretty well, moving pretty efficiently. First and ten situation now. We are in goal for territory. And we're going to float this one out. We find number two who makes the catch, and he has the first down. So we are, we're moving, man. I just, I, I'm, I'm at a loss. <laughs> I haven't seen our offense really play like this all uh, season long, and uh, we're really showing up when we had to. So as we hand it off to the running back, who has a beautiful run, and gives us another first down. <laughs> We're just getting huge contributions from everyone. So we have a long first and goal to, to try and convert here. So we give to the fullback who falls forward past the five-yard line. And we are knock, knock, knocking on the Golden Gophers' door yet again. Can we extend our lead here? Keep keep piling on as we go for the rollout again because it keeps working. And we find number 80 who's got another touchdown. Let's go Northwestern Wildcats. This is how I want us to play inside the conference. Put it to their necks, man. Pedal to the metal. As we get another nice offensive touchdown here. And can we convert the extra point? And we get another beautiful kick, and that one sails through. He has figured it out. He's got it all together. Am I finally getting good at kicking field goals? Who knows? But I am hyped for what this team is... Uh, potentially capable of here is this is just only the beginning of our conference play and we will have we will have easier opponents but again we got plenty of time left in this game what can minnesota do is we hold a 30 to 17 lead they go with the running back on the ground right up the middle it gets brought down without getting too much and why not celebrate on them go for it get hyped Second and nine situation for the Gophers, which is two minutes left in the third quarter. They're going to go for the option, and he flips out to the running back. It gave me the wrong guy. I wanted a number 28 who was chasing the running back, but it gave me the guy in front. And so we end up giving up a, a pretty big chunk there off of uh, just getting screwed over by the game, which has happened a lot this season. So uh, another first down for Minnesota. As we bite on the play fake again, but this time we make it to the quarterback, and I get some contact, but somehow... Number 84 comes down with it, somehow. The white Randy Moss, somehow. <laughs> 200 yards on the game. I just, <laughs> we can't stop him, okay? We have to play as efficiently as we are on offense because this guy is just a, a menace. He's crazy. 200 yards to the air. It's nuts. So Minnesota's going to go to the ground game, though, to try and pick up the rest there as they're inside the 10-yard line, but that's not going very far. They are still close, though. So can our defense tighten up here? And uh, stop Minnesota from finding Pater. 
as they float that one out, and they find 85. We had a it looks like a linebacker in position to, to maybe pick that one off and send that one the other way, but uh, the ball gets to the tight end, uh, but they are still far from the goal line here. It's third and goal now. Can we make the huge goal line stand? Can we do it? As we bring the running back down, he had nowhere to go. He tried to redirect, and there was no room for him to operate. So we make the big stop here. We make a huge stop on defense, and that's what I exactly what I was looking for. But that is the end of the third quarter. So that means that Minnesota will probably come out uh, to start the fourth quarter off, uh, keeping the offense on the field. So we uh, we we uh, we gotta we gotta stay tight, man. <laughs> we stay tight for three plays. Can we do it for four? Fourth and goal for the Gophers. Can we make the stop here? The top of the fourth quarter. Quarterback's going to drop back and look over his option. And the pressure's in his face. And we had guys in position 28 again makes the tip there. Still could have caught it. Still had more than enough uh, opportunity to make the catch. But he can't come down with it. So we make the huge goal line stand here on fourth and goal. And we got to go the length of the field here to make something out of that. As that ball just bounces right off of our backup tight end's arms. But uh, we, uh, we're we in pretty good shape here now. As, uh, we are in control of a 13-point lead here uh, at the top of the fourth quarter. If we can move the ball here, get some padded here, and I threw that, and I, there were two guys there. As long as one of you came down with it, I'm okay, and we do just that. So we get a first down, get a little bit of room here to operate. We're not uh, dropping back here from our uh, from our uh, back back door here. So we hand it off to the running back. Gets a couple yards. Not too much. Don't need too much. Trying to play a little bit of keep away here. There's still more than uh, more than enough time for me to start just running away. So uh, we I got to add points here, and we're not doing it that way. Not going to add points doing stuff like that. Our quarterback, who's been pretty tight all game. I'm pretty sure when I recorded this, I hit the wrong button. I Because th- I, if you see that play, there's a dude who's wide open. And I think I just panicked and hit the wrong button. Uh, excuses, excuses. Point is, we threw a terrible interception. So now Minnesota has a chance to add some points. as They almost get it off the option play with the quarterback, who gets brought down at about the first down marker, which is essentially the goal line. So just one play. Uh, Minnesota's got to go in the other way. They are knocking on our goal line. Can they convert here second and inches as they head to the ground game? Shakes off that tackle. We had two guys in the backfield, but this time he's not going to get stopped up. And Minnesota finds Pater. So they'll add another touchdown, another seven uh, to the deficit there and cut the lead to just six now, which I think is probably the closest Minnesota's been aside from the beginning of the game when it was three to six, but... But now Minnesota's got a real chance here. If they can make a, if they can make a stop on defense, I mean, this game is completely in their hands. So we got to be sharp here, and that's not being sharp. As the pressure gets to our quarterback, and I think he must have cocked his hand back for the throw, and the ball just got flipped out, flew back about 10 or 15 yards. So we got a second and super-duper long, and we get all of it back on the next play. That was an Ohio State Buckeyes type play from last week, man. <laughs> Huge mistake. All right, fine. We ain't playing around. 30-yard reception on the next play. So we got another fresh set of downs, and our huge mistake does not blow up in our face. Minnesota easily could have recovered that one and, and had the points that they needed. That could have been it right there, and we'd be uh, we'd be on the defensive, uh, finally, or the offensive, rather, uh, having to make up for our mistakes. But uh, we, uh, we, we come up strong here, but... Uh, Another sack here, another uh, another bit of pressure from Minnesota as we got another third and long. So can we get all back again? Are we going to get lucky twice? Yes, we are. Number 80. Remember his number. Not his name. <laughs> his number. Because he is the guy. We, uh, oh man. Just getting bailed out by him, man. We have found the plays that are working against Minnesota. And again, I think I missed the hole there. I think if I would have kept going outside, probably would have uh, had a little bit more room to operate. But uh, for some reason, we try and cut up field, uh, which doesn't really work. As now I'm really trying to play keep away here with just under two minutes left. Uh, don't want to give too, op- too many opportunities here to, to give up the ball, but we do have to keep moving it forward. And we do just that. We fit that ball in a very tight window. It was a very dangerous pass, but uh, fortunately our receiver comes down with it, and we have another first down. So we head to the running back again. Got a little bit of room. There's a, a one defender, and uh, he makes the uh, open field tackle. So Minnesota's going to burn timeouts because they uh, they know they know what's going to happen here as we find number two across the middle with another first down. Someone should give uh, the Golden Govers the memo that uh, burning your timeouts to save clock doesn't really work if your defense can't stop nobody. And that's the game that the Govers are playing. As this time we get a lucky run. 
a lucky run here close to the goal line. Remember Minnesota's last touchdown? We had two guys back there, and their running back, number 21, said, no, no thank you. This time we say no thank you to number 12, their strong safety, and we tiptoe right on in and add another touchdown to our already amazing day. And another solid kick goes through. And we uh, extend our lead now back to 13. 37 to 24 over the Golden Gophers. And a terrible kick. <laughs> uh, fortunately, that one stays in bounds. But uh, Minnesota now, they're essentially, their goose is cooked now. Undefeated Minnesota. They're going no, no, no one in the backfield. This is desperation time with just a minute left. What do they got going? As uh, an amazing play there by number 29, our free safety. He, he breaks that one up there to, uh, to White Randy Moss. And that one's going nowhere. So with just a minute and three seconds left, second and ten, what does Minnesota have? Float that one out. They got his man open. Can't connect. Sails that one into the grass. So it's third and ten now. You'd think they would try shotgun formation, but they don't. <laughs> just steps back. And that time, he had the window there. Uh, he's had the size all game, but uh, couldn't connect on that one. So we, we got pretty lucky there. But it's a fourth and ten situation for the Gophers. They only got a minute to get 13. So... I think we're in pretty good shape, but we still got to make the stop here. So, fourth and ten. Can we put him to rest? As the quarterback drops back, looks over, and throws a very contested ball. We had three Wildcats there. They make a play on the ball. Could have had the, the pick, but uh, that's just for, that's just style points at this point. So, uh, we got the ball. We got less than a minute left. And there it is, the run that uh, essentially is going to ice this game for us. I think Minnesota only has, like, one or two timeouts anyway, so... They can't even stop us if they wanted to, as uh, we'll come out and get the rest of those inches with our fullback, and that will do it, as we uh, will let the clock burn out. Let the lights burn out here on the Golden Gophers' undefeated season. We'll line up as the clock hit triple zero, and there we have it. A humongous, probably the biggest win of, uh, of our season, most likely. I mean, I can't see us pulling off something like that again but who knows the season is long as we reach 500 again we're three and three and we hand the golden gophers the five and oh golden gophers their first l of the season and that one's got to hurt that one's got to be tough gophers didn't even play that bad i mean they they rolled they racked up the points in our defense we played well i thought but uh but uh the, the gophers offense was still sharp uh so but our offense uh, was just a little bit stronger, as you can see the comparisons here. You know, three for four on third down. I mean, we didn't have that many third downs. It's probably the fewest amount of third downs we've had uh, all season in a game. So, a very, very tight game. I think we only had the one pick that we threw, and that was a mistake on my part. Um, but other than that, I mean, just a really dominant performance by the Wildcats coming off of uh, that, uh, that tough, tough loss to the Buckeyes. I mean... We come home, and we make a real nice impression in front of some fans who are starting to come back. So maybe we can fill up the stadium a little bit more off of a, a nice nice performance and a, an energetic and exciting performance um, against the, uh, the the ranked golfers who uh, won't be ranked anymore. I mean, they still could be. I mean, it's just only one loss, but I know the rankings in this game are kind of weird, so... They'll probably drop pretty far, losing to uh, us. I mean, because we're probably, what, in the 70s, I think? I forget from the beginning of the video where our national rank was. It was probably somewhere in the 60s or 70s. So, um, But here's the uh, the performances uh, overall. There we see a 31-yard field goal. I think it's the first one we've made all season long with our kicker. But uh, I'm excited that we were able to do that. It just came down to focus. I focused so hard. You have no idea how, how focused I was when I made that kick. But uh, we're moving ahead now. This one could be a tough game here. This is a pretty even game here as we got to take on the Hoosiers uh, on the road. Uh, they're also 500. Uh, very, very evenly matched game. So, uh, hope to see you uh, in Indiana when we take on uh, the Hoosiers and continue our conference play.